without further ado, please put your hands together for Matt Richardson. Hello. How are you all doing? You well? Yeah. Oh, good. Now, right, I'm going to rant about school. And I'm going to rant about school because I wasn't, like, cool at school, and that really upsets me. I mean, I'm not cool now, but at school I was not funny or anything. Right? It really upset me because I wanted to be, like, the cool kids at school, right, the funny ones. And the funniest thing that ever happened at school to me was this. I was in a lesson, and we were talking about heritage in our lesson, like family heritage. And I put my hand up, and I went, oh, I am half Welsh, right, because I'm half Welsh. I put my hand up and said that. A kid at the back of the lesson went, sheep shagger! Like that, and I went, no, I'm only half Welsh. And then he went, fine then, you wank off over knitwear, which is amazing. <laughs> right, there's those kind of things going. I wish I was like that cool. And it was, I definitely wasn't the cool kids at school, right? I kind of had cooler parents than me, right? My parents talk about sex a lot. They're like really open about it. Like my mum is mental, I'll tell you about her. Like this is the kind of woman she is. You're laughing already, do you know her? <laughs> Mandy Richardson, what a babe. And. Uh, <laughs> She's a ledge, right? But she's, she's nuts. She doesn't care. So we were out shopping together recently. This is the kind of woman my mum is. We were out shopping together recently, walking down our local high street. As we were walking down the high street, there was a religious guy stood there in the middle of the high street giving out pamphlets on God to everyone that walked past, just handing out these pamphlets. Fine, not an is issue, right? As we walked towards him, he handed my mum a pamphlet. As he handed it to her, he went, Jesus is coming sooner than we think. She took it off him and went, yeah, but it's a problem for a lot of guys, right? And then carried on down the road, right? <laughs> that is the woman she is. <laughs> And I thought I had the most embarrassing parents in the world until I was 17 at school, right? My best friend at school, Tom, right? Tom is an idiot. The kind of person that you think, a bus should have had you by now. Like, <laughs> do you know one of those? While you're alive, Darwinism does not work. Like, one of those people. I'll give you an example of the kind of person he is, right? I bought a T-shirt recently that said OK on it. I had a big O and a big K. I bought this T-shirt and wore it around his house the first day I owned it. I walked in and went, mate, what do you think of my new T-shirt? And he just went... What the fuck is an ock? Like, properly fit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really kind of like, oh, my God, never breed for the good of all of us. Like one of them. And when we were 17, this happened, right? He came and sat opposite me at lunch at school, and I hadn't seen him all day, and he looked terrible. He looked like he hadn't slept. I was like, mate, tell me everything. You look terrible. Come on, tell me all of this, right? And he told me the story of what happened the night before. And this is it, right? The night before, he had been sat at home by himself, right, on his computer, naked. <laughs> Right. We're all intelligent people, Radio One, we know. If you're in the car, sorry about this, but I'm going to do a mime that you can't see, and it's going to be amazing, right? He was sat there naked, right, watching some porn. I've seen some recently, smashing stuff. Uh, <laughs> although what I don't like about it is you can leave comments on the videos like it's YouTube, right? I don't want to read a review of your wank, you know? Uh, <laughs> I read one recently, a bloke just put three out of five, boobs too jiggly. You're like, that is not what that's for, mate. Anyway, so he's like there on his computer, like watching this video. It's a really good one, right? He's really into it. Like the kind of one you sort of, you know, having, he's wanking, right? Sorry, front row. Uh, especially you, you look really sweet. I feel like I'm soiling you and lying about the size of it. Now, um, so he's sat there, right? Really going for it, really lost in the moment. Like the kind of one you look back on, you're so serious about it that you cringe when you think about it. Like sort of like loads of lip biting, kind of, oh, yeah, I'm really good at this, but I'm only 17, so in theory, oh, right, like that. He's kind of doing this, it's going sort of really well. He's really lost in the moment totally lost in the moment, doubled over with pleasure. He doesn't realise what's going to happen next, and he came in his own face. Now, <laughs> that is not the best bit of the story. The shock of it made him stand up so quickly, he hit his head on a shelf above his desk and knocked himself out, right? <laughs> And this is why his parents are more embarrassing than mine, because the first he realised this has happened is when he woke up two hours later, in bed, in his pyjamas, clean. <laughs> oh, ho, ho! Work that one out, Poirot! Right? And he woke up like we all would, and just kind of went... Oh, thank God for that, it was just a dream. Oh, that can be awkward for everyone involved. And then he looked on his bedside table and there was just a note. And the note just said, it's our little secret, love, mum. Right, what an <laughs> awful thing to read. As a 17-year-old boy, you can ah! The worst thing is, they've never talked about it since, right? This has never been mentioned. If that was my mum, she'd harass me about it, and so my only options were suicide or murder, you know? It's terrible. And I've also thought how awful that must be for him right over the years. <laughs> what a terrible thing to know happened. But I've also thought about it from the other side, right? Brilliant. Imagine being a parent and having that as collateral <laughs> in an argument. Six months down the line, you're stood there. He goes, no, mum, I'm going out! And you can just go, ah, well, I know, you're jizzing your own face. So I think you're going to be staying in. <laughs> oh, my God, I'll do the dishes, whatever it takes. Right? And like my mum was a bit nuts, right? But I kind of argue a lot with my dad when I was younger. At school, I, we argued all the time, right? We don't so much anymore, but we're very different people. And we had the biggest argument we ever had when I was 18, right? I walked into the kitchen, it went over nothing. I'd slam the door as I walked in. I walked in, slammed the door, he lost it at me. Just turned around and went, don't slam the door! And I went, Dad, don't be a dick. And he went, don't you be a dick! I went, don't you be a dick! He went, don't you be a dick! I went, don't you be a dick! He went, don't you be a dick! I went, don't you be a dick! Because we're a very witty family. And as we're kind of arguing away, my mum was in the kitchen as well, doing anything she could to ignore us, just kind of going, well, they're both dicks. This doesn't 
doesn't actually matter. <laughs> oh, God, right? And this argument escalated to a point where we're just yelling in each other's faces. My dad's going, I hate you, right, over a door. I'm going, I hate you more. He's going, I want you to leave. I'm going, I'm going to stay because that will annoy you, right, things like this. And it got worse and worse and worse until it got to a point where my dad leant into my face and said the worst thing anyone's ever said to me. We're arguing away. My dad leant into my face and went, the best part of you dribbled down your mum's leg. <laughs> And I've said they're a broken man. I don't know what to say back to this to win. I'm just kind of going, oh, my God, this is the worst thing anyone's ever said to me. What can I, what can I say? What can I do? This is terrible. How can I come back to this? And then my mum just swooped in to save the day because she turned around and went, how would you know? You weren't there. And then carried on doing what she was doing. I... That's why I don't like school. <laughs> Thanks very much. I'm Matt Richardson. Take it easy.